Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to our channel. I am Rof Yasin, and in this video, we will design our change password form, and we'll also uh, write code for uh, any logged-in user can change password. So, before proceeding, if I start application again, look at this. If I log in, and you can see our login form is displayed uh, on the screen. But if you look at our uh, your task bar at the bottom side this form doesn't have any icon on the task bar so we should also enable this property right click on form go to show in task bar and set it to true this is the main form so uh, that's why i have set this task bar property false because all of other fo our forms should not be displayed displayed separately inside uh, in our task bar this is the only form that will be displayed inside our task bar which is representing the complete application okay so next i'll go to my forms folder and i'll create a new form and i'll set change password form okay right click and view code and inherit this from template form and build the project and our change password form is looking better so resize this one and go to properties and change this text property as well change password and i will use these buttons copy and paste it over here so i'll set old password then new password and resize little bit more copy this one one more time put it down little bit and i'll set it as confirm password and instead of using login i'll set change password resize a little bit and instead of using close uh, exit app i should use close okay and this icon is not suitable for close we should look for different icon i don't think so i have an, one in here so let me find out so i'll use this one perfect so go to login button change this to change password button okay and instead of exit app this should be close button okay and now i'll select all of these and go to format then center in form then horizontally and then i'll set it align it to the above okay now drag it little bit above little bit above okay and also so this is our change password form first of all understand the scenario any logged in user will be able to change its password so we must think that how we pass information uh, from this login form to here that how this form knows about who is the logged in user that's why i used dt roles <laughs> let me rename this one dt roles instead of dt user and paste it over here that's why i created data table over here i'll show you in a minute but before that go to our main menu form or dashboard form and create an ob object change password form cpf is equals to new change password form and then cpf dot show dialog and instead of typing again and again inside this login form i am right click and going into text and i am defining static text 
for the time being. Okay, so that I, I can't type again and again. Let's click on login, click on change password. Look at this, our change password is being displayed inside our dashboard container. Now I'll write code for this close and I also write start writing code for this change password. Close this one, exit your application and so double click on this close button and simply write this dot close and after this I'll double click on change password and first I'll check for is firm valid. I'll do validation control dot generate this method and I write if old password let me change the text of these button as well old password text box and new password text box and then confirm password text box okay so i'll check if old password text box dot text dot trim is equals to string dot empty then i'll display a message message box dot show this is our message box buttons dot ok and icon dot information or you can use icon dot error and after this i'll set old password dot focus and i'll return false i'll copy this one i wanna validate all of three text boxes and i'll use old password is required then error validation error copy paste it over here here and copy again paste it over here here as well and change this to new password and then confirm password and also set focus change this one to new password and change this one to new password and set this to confirm password and also confirm password and next I will return true if all of our above conditions are false it means our form is valid and I will return true so right click properties and set use system password character property to true do this one for also and this one for also okay so if you start your application again login change password if I click save change password old password is required type here click new password is required up here confirm password is required type here look at this this is working but this is not the correct scenario our new password and confirm password should be same so I will write validation for this one as well so after all of form valid empty validation I will write another validation let me copy this one and I'll write if new password dot text dot trim not equals to confirm password dot text dot trim if this text box dot text is not equals to this then I'll set new and confirm password is not matched okay so start again log into app change password write something and one two three four five and one two three four five six click on here let me write six over here click look at this new and confirm password is not matched so 
close this one so this video is already taking my 10 minutes i hope this is enough for this video i'll do further in my next video because this contains some logic first i will transfer the current logged in users details and store somewhere in my program and then i will use uh, i will update password for that logged in user thank you so much for watching we'll meet again in the next video take care of yourself allah hafiz assalam alaikum